analyzing Well, it. Cameron is over at APS right now where they're getting ready to show us what you really need to watch for. Cameron, we don't need any scenes from Christmas Vacation. <laughs> and we're going to try to keep that uh, to a minimum. That's why I'm going to stay on this side of the yellow line this morning. I'm here with Annie DeGraw and that is Troubleman Troy back there. They're going to show us what we want to avoid while putting up Christmas lights because every year someone does something and they end up in the hospital or worse. That's true. You know, around Christmas and around the holidays, we are thinking about family, we are thinking about food, and we are not thinking about safety necessarily. So one of the things we always want to talk about bring safety back into the conversation. We're putting up lights, we're opening ovens. You know, it's not necessarily the safest time. So one of the demonstrations that we have is what is electricity's effect on the human body? And the reason we do that is because a lot of the times the electricity we're putting up, lights and stuff, it can be a dangerous time. So let's step over here so Troubleman Troy can fire up some things and, uh, sh and show us what happens. He says, do not try this at home, kids, because uh, just you'll even hear the power. Explain what know, we're seeing. So obviously we have some hot dogs, we have some grapefruits, and that's a human body uh, form. And what we're showing here is when you open up these hot dogs, which Troy is going to show you, this is actually what the human body can look like when electricity runs through it. So you can see just how dangerous that really is. And, you know, we're always telling people, make sure that when you're putting up lights, put them up in a safe manner. Put up LED lights to give off less heat. Don't use a dry tree. And make sure that you're not overloading your circuits. We don't want anybody to be put in this position. And we want to give everybody the tips they need. And if you have questions, call APS. We're happy to give you tips on how to have a safe holiday. And what Troubleman Troy is over there showing us is that when you get electrocuted, uh, you're your body is has the effect of being inside a microwave and it literally cooks from the inside. And when that happens, you're probably looking at some amputations. We got about 30 seconds left. You know, and one of the things that we're always saying too is when you're doing this, uh, sometimes when electricity is running through you, you don't see anything on the outside. You'll see now these grapefruits look pretty normal. When Troy opens these back up, that's when you're going to see the damage. It's very similar in a human body. You don't see that damage on the inside. It's, it's that stuff that's actually going internal organs that we have an issue with. And like, that's why electricity is so dangerous. All right, we're going to uh, open that up real quick. And Troy is going to show us what, what, what that looks like, as you can see. And uh, let's see the inside. And uh, yeah, there you go. That could be you, uh, unfortunately, if you do not uh, take the necessary precautions of what happens when uh, you mess with electricity. Now, the grapefruit we can throw out, but if it's that, if that's your body part, unfortunately, it is not as replaceable. So coming up in the 9 o'clock hour of Good Morning Arizona, we're going to show you some more on electricity and what happens when the power goes through those lines. And that is definitely a situation you want to avoid. Reporting live, I'm Cameron Riddle for Arizona's Family.